Niagara Falls, where Nikola Tesla made his mark on the world. Let's go to sites at Niagara Falls in America, sites at Niagara Falls in Canada, two stops in each. First stop, Niagara Falls State Park. We parked the car and walked through into the park, headed straight to the pedestrian bridge to Goat Island. It's where you can see the American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls. This statue has been moved around a bit. It is now located on Stedman's Bluff, across from Luna Island, behind Cave of the Winds entrance. In 1884, Nikola Tesla, a 28-year-old Serbian immigrant, came to the United States with a dream of engineering the production of alternating current, that's AC to you and me, electricity. He became a consultant to George Westinghouse, who won the contract to harness the power of Niagara Falls to produce AC hydroelectricity. The Westinghouse Tesla team engineered a water tunnel two miles long and 160 feet deep from the rapids to the Niagara River, just past the American Falls. Some 300 tons of earth were removed, 20 million bricks were used to line the tunnel. When completed, the Adams powerhouses accommodated 10 5,000 horsepower generators. Tesla Hydro, capable of delivering AC electricity on November 15, 1896. For the first time ever, the long-distance transmission of alternating current was achieved from Niagara Falls to Buffalo, New York, some 23 miles away. Ultimately, the entire civilization adopted AC transmission. Nikola Tesla's achievement was described in 1896 by the Buffalo Inquirer, the city newspaper, as Journey of God's Own Lightning to the Employ of all mankind. Tesla died in Manhattan here at this hotel on the corner. What is it? Oh, it's the Nikola Tesla corner on West 40th Street. Please be sure to subscribe. I love New York. A full video guide on Niagara Falls State Park is coming soon. In this video, we're talking about Niagara Falls, where Nikola Tesla made his mark on the world. Sites at Niagara Falls in America. Our second stop is the Robert Moses Niagara Power Plant, Power Authority of the state of New York. This is Power Vista. Get your pass so you can walk on through. It's free and has phenomenal exhibits, but we are aiming at the Nikola Tesla display. And I will be doing a full video on the Niagara Power Vista. It's coming soon also. The exhibits are phenomenal. It does require a lot of reading, but there are some hands-on experiments and displays. I was drawn to these banners. Nikola Tesla, Alessandro Volta, Michael Faraday. The Tesla polyphase system in 1896 is undoubtedly the most tremendous event in all engineering history. This man and Tesla were at odds I would say most of the time, and his name is much more popular than Nikola Tesla. His name is Thomas Edison, and if it weren't for the Tesla car, I'm not sure people would even know the name Tesla, much less know about Nikola Tesla, the man behind the power. There is an interesting display at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. The cabinet display includes information on Nikola Tesla, including his death mask, and Thomas Edison. These men were strong rivals. One was A.C current and one was DC current. You see that little vial on the bottom left behind Edison? That's his last breath. But moving on. As I mentioned, they have lots of hands-on displays and experiments explaining more about direct current. DC current, and alternating current, AC current. Down the escalators, you'll hear some voices. And what is it? It's Edison and Tesla sparring. What happens here at Niagara Falls would better people's lives around the world. And that is why Niagara Falls needs to generate DC power. To change the world, we must produce AC. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cataract Company plans to build an electrical power plant in the city of Niagara Falls. It will be the largest such facility in the world. The proposed plant will take the immense energy of Niagara Falls, transform it into electricity, and then transmit this power all the way to Buffalo an unheard of distance of 20 miles. But the company is dithering. It cannot decide which kind of electricity to generate. Should it be direct current or alternating? Let me explain. AC is superior to DC because AC reverses the direction of the current many times per second, creating a wave form. These waves actually make it easy to increase and decrease voltages, which in turn allow us to transmit current over very long distances. With my AC system, the Niagara plant will not only power Buffalo, 
It will light up Chicago and New York as well. They may have had the ingenuity about the power, but this is the board of directors of the Cataract Construction Company. These men had the real power, money. And these men, they put elbow grease to the whole project. Niagara Falls is one of the most beautiful places in the world, where the electrification of the world started. Niagara Falls are the final victory of Tesla's polyphase alternating current electricity. Nikola Tesla designed the first hydroelectric power plant in Niagara Falls, and this was the final victory of Tesla's alternating current over Edison's direct current. This is the interior of powerhouse number one of the Niagara Falls Power Company. Many of you have seen this photograph or the photo of a man sitting in a chair who is Nikola Tesla with some sort of contraption that looks like this being electrified. That's that's because it's Nikola Tesla. He is the father of high frequency, high voltage electricity, which is used today in radio and other communication devices. Here is a photograph from Colorado Springs, Colorado in 1899 illustrating the capacity of the oscillator to create electricity of millions of volts and a frequency of 100,000 alternations per second. And I've got to make a little sidebar about Colorado Springs. I had heard that there was a Nikola Tesla Museum in Colorado Springs. On our trip many years ago to Colorado Springs, this was one of the places we intended to visit, just to find out that it had recently closed and the whereabouts of the contents of the museum was unknown. Well, our next stop was in Moab, Utah. There is a rock and mineral shop there that we always like to stop in and there was this curtain and it was pulled and we asked the gentleman behind the counter what's behind the curtain oh, he goes oh just a bunch of tesla stuff we went what yes the owners of the rock shop had gone and purchased many of the tesla items that were in the former museum in colorado springs that was a really interesting find for sure. Now let's cross the border. The international boundary line is in the center of the Niagara River. More than double the tourists visit the Canadian side of the falls than the American side. And one visit, you'll know exactly why. If you go to the United States side, if at all possible, if you have your birth certificate or a passport, feel free to walk or drive across to the Canadian side for extravagant views and lots of fun things to do. There is a variety of passes available to help you enjoy your time on many fantastic adventures. But here we are at Nikola Tesla Plaza. It's our third stop. It's near Table Rock. Approximately, oh, I don't know. We walked forever that day, it seemed. I would say it's a mile and a half from the bridge. Nikola Tesla was born July 10th, 1856. And he died January 7th, 1943. He was born to a Serbian family in the village of Smiljan, Croatia. He was a brilliant child who, when only 12 years old, upon seeing a lithograph of Niagara Falls, declared that one day he would put a wheel under it and power the world. Working with George Westinghouse, Tesla made the use of alternating electrical current, a practical and efficient system for delivering power. The power plants of Niagara Falls were based on his inventions. The first of these new plants began generating energy in 1895 and his technology is still at work today. Nikola Tesla was credited with hundreds of inventions in his lifetime, but it is his work on electricity that harnessed the force of Niagara Falls and forever changed the way we live. Do not forget to subscribe. And now our fourth stop. It's at the lobby of the Falls View Casino. And for those of you having a reason not to go into a casino, you can see the Teslatron. It's right out front in the lobby. It's decorated seasonally and the decorations for fall had just been completed the day before we visited. Coming soon, a video on sites at Niagara Falls in Canada. You won't want to miss that video. Gorgeous views of the falls. The observation tower at Skyline. A great lunch at the rotating restaurant. A ride on the sky wheel at night. Taking a voyage into the mist of Horseshoe Falls. And of course, returning in the evening for the fireworks and a light show. It's all stunning. It's all fabulous. Sandals on the ground. And classic road trip. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know if you've been to Niagara Falls. What was your favorite thing that you did while there?